Hey everyone, uh, today I want to talk to you about dependency management. Uh, dependency management for, Jan for a Django project. So there are many different ways of managing your dependencies. Those include venf, virtual env, pip env, you know, a bunch of other envs. But today I want to talk to you about Poetry. Poetry is a relatively new dependency management and Python packaging library. It makes it very easy to manage dependencies and you know, just see them visually and um, do a bunch of cool things. One of the coolest features is it allows you to upload your Python library uh, to PyPy without having to you know, do a bunch of setting up wheels and setup files. It, it does it all for you. And if you're working on a Django third party application, so it's like a standalone app that people can use, uh, it would come very handy. Today, we're just gonna make a website. So we're not gonna use this picture, but you'll see that Poetry makes it very nice um, and easy. So before we can start, you need to install Poetry. Uh, you can do it on the pythonpoetry.org. I'll have all the links in the description. So you would have it over to documentation and uh, installation. You have to run this script in your terminal. If you have it installed, you'll see this. But if you don't have it installed, you'll see a bunch of output just telling you, you know, it was installed successfully. Here's what you can do. But you wouldn't need to do anything else except running the script. Now you can see that I'm in my tutorials folder. And let's go ahead and create a directory for our you know, Django Poetry example. That's what we're going to call it. Poetry example. Cool. Let's see into that. Now, uh, there are two ways to start a poetry project. You could either do a poetry start. Poetry new, and it will generate a, a few files for you, like a test folder where you will write all your tests, poetry demo folder where you have your actual code, the readme file, and then the PyProject toml file. Um, I don't really need it right now, so I'll just go ahead and use the their handy init function, which will you know simplify the process and will only generate the PyProject toml file, which we'll see in a second. So let's run this poetry init. Cool. Now it asks me to enter a few details about my library. So it you know, auto generates the name based on the folder name. So you can skip for this stuff. It's pretty um, generic. So version 0.1, not gonna have any description. Uh, yes, I'm the author, here's a license, the compatible Python version. Uh, the automatic is 3.7, but you can do anything else you want. You can do 3.6, 3.8, or you know above three. Um, it's pretty customizable in this sense. Okay, so now it asks me if I want to define my dependencies interactively. Um, no, not really. I'll do it manually later. Uh, same for development dependencies. Nope. Okay, now this is what's going to generate in my pyproject.toml file. Uh, let's see. Name, version, description, Python version. That's it. Um, Cool. Yes, I confirm generation. Done. Okay, now let's see what we have here. We have the PyProject toml file. How about I continue editing this in, in VS Code? Uh, let's open this code. Cool. Okay, now the first obvious dependency that we need is Django. Let's add Django with their simple poetry, add Django. And make a note of what's happening in here. So poetry creates a virtual environment and adds uh, Django to our dependencies list. But the cool thing is that, you know how with, uh, when you do pip frizz, it gives you all the libraries, uh, not only what you install, but you know, dependencies of what you or dependencies of your dependency. So for example, Django here has uh, four dependencies, it has asgiref, pytz, SQL parse, and you know, Django itself. And so we're not gonna see that you know, quote unquote junk here, we'll just see Django. And then when we use this PyProject Toml to, you know, on our server, for example, um, it will still get you know, all the dependencies of each of our, our dependencies. Okay, now we have Django installed as a dependency and we can use it in our project. 
when you're using dependency managers, uh, you always have to activate a virtual environment. Poetry has a nice way of doing that as well. All you have to do is write Poetry Shell, and it will activate the environment. So now we can write simple code and start our Django project as we would usually do. We can write uh, Django admin start project. Let's give it the project name Django poetry example. And then the dot in the end to make sure that we're installing the, we're creating the project inside our folder. Ah, cool. So as you see, the Django generated a few files. And that's basically it. Like you can just start developing your Django project as if you would develop it you know, with any other dependency manager. So for example, if you want to start create a user's application, you can simply do Python manage.py start app users. Cool. And now when you need uh, to add another dependency, for example, you want to use uh, Django environment uh, variables. You do poetry, add Django, and gone. Boom. You see it was added. Now you can use it in your uh, project. Simple as that. There's one more handy thing I'd like to uh, show you before we end the video, and that is if you know, for any reason you still need your requirements.txt file, instead of doing pip frizz, you know, to requirements.txt file, uh, there is a handy method uh, called export. So you can just do poetry export f requirements.txt, and so you could use it, use this in your uh, CI CD pipelines. So if we do this, see, it will generate the requirements.txt file, where, which will have all the dependencies. And we'll also include hash fields uh, to make sure that the the packages you install, you know, are exactly the same. Okay, and uh, that's it. I hope this was useful. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below the video. And yeah, hope you have a great day and um, keep developing.